Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and today is harvest time here on No Man's Land. I just got done filling up our truck here with a little bit of diesel, and we're going to need it because most of our crops here are ready to be harvested, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this beautiful new harvester here, well, new to us, harvester that we have here on the farm. As you can see, it is a Case IH Axial Flow 2588. It, uh, we got it on a pretty good deal. We got a little bit wider header than I think typically comes with this. And I'm hoping it's enough. We've got Michael on his way. We're going to go ahead and get started doing some headlands here. And then he's going to show up a little bit later and run this thing back and forth. And I'm going to be uh, taking this beautiful truck, once again, this beautiful Chevy right here, and uh, putting everything into our silos. Now, our silos over there only hold about 400,000. The one's leaning a little bit more than whenever they first put it in, so I'm hoping that one holds up. Um, I'm hoping that we can uh, store at least four of our crops here in those silos. We do have five crops on the property here, so I'm going to have to maybe do a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like a jigsaw puzzle, trying to figure out which ones I want to put in which silo. They all are 100000 but... I may get to a point where I'm like, hey, we don't need that one. I can go ahead and sell it. It's a good price. That way we can store the other four. We are going to have a little bit of straw here on the oats and the wheat back there in the back corner. But our canola is ready right here also. And our sorghum is ready. So four out of our five crops. The soybeans are not ready yet. But y'all, I've got a month to get all these crops out of the ground. Hopefully we're going to be able to make it. Um, wish me luck. So I just about made it in time and he didn't have to stop. What I'm doing is I'm setting up the baler. That way we can go ahead and start working on this once we get over into our other field of wheat and just kind of get all the baling knocked out. That way it's not sitting on the ground. And, um, you know, we're going to get uh, this put over into the silo here. I don't think we're going to have enough to fill up one complete silo. So this may be the crop that we sell here. We do have another month before our uh, soybeans are going to be ready to harvest. So we've got a little bit of time to figure it out but not very much. All right, we are full. To the silo we go. We got done with this field here and we've got a pretty good amount. The first truckload had about 25,000 liters in it. We put about another uh, 18 in that one right there. So a pretty good yield here for our oats. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead to the wheat field because I wanna go ahead and get all of this uh, straw on the ground. That way, while he's uh, working on some more of that uh, harvesting, I can go ahead and start racking up all these bales because we need to get these things either stored or sold. So I'm going to run up here, open up the headlands a little bit, maybe do a couple times around and then let him meet me back up here and we're going to get rocking. So, you know, we're making pretty good progress on this. I'm not, um, I'm not upset at all. This header is making really, really quick work of these grains. Uh, we don't have any issues right now on this flatter ground. We're going to run into maybe a little bit of something once we get here on these hills right here in the canola and the sorghum i'm really really nervous about so i'm going to go ahead and start right here like i said that way we can get all of this uh straw on the ground and um we're going to put this in the first silo that's uh not looking uh in bad shape so we've got that one over there that's leaning really really bad and I don't want to put anything in there yet until we know um, that we definitely need it. So we're going to be looking at prices. Oat price right now isn't the best. Um, so hopefully we get a good deal on it. Um, it's probably going to be the least uh, yield that we have. Um, the lowest uh, amount that we have. So it's probably going to be the one that I'm going to want to sell. I mean, if something else has got a better price, we'll do that. But I'm going to get working on this. And uh, I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably be back once I'm over there in that baler because I want to show you guys that equipment a little bit more. It's a, it's a really, really awesome piece of equipment that we got a really good deal on. So I need to make some good money. That way we can uh, definitely pay the bank back for that and then invest here in the, uh, in the farm a little bit more. I am in love with this baler right here. This thing is really cool. I am uh, so excited that we were able to pick up two rows at the same time going to save us so much time as you guys can see michael's doing a pretty good job up there in the weed field i'm trying to keep up he man he is lightning fast up there quick turnarounds he's not wasting any time 
let me know right where he's at on uh, the capacity of the equipment so that I got enough time to get up there, get him unloaded. I, uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get of this done because I'm running back and forth so much now that, uh, I really don't have a whole lot of time. I mean, all I've been able to do is maybe about, what, eight, eight bales here? So, man, he is, he is absolutely cranking it on that field over there. I'm really excited. He is working out really, really good. Um, a great addition here to the farm. And, um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to hopefully being able to keep him around here a little bit more um, once we get a few more uh, different things going on in the farm. We've got some plans. I know you guys have heard me talk about the animals that we want to get, the sheep. I'm hoping, hoping that we can make some really good money here on the crops and be able to do that. We've got the mill said that they are wrapped up on all of our lumber. They've got everything processed for us over there. So we're going to be able to uh, build a little bit of something over there for them but we got to get these crops out of the ground first and get going on our winter crops get everything put in the ground um, and then we can start on that so that's going to be a little bit later in the year but i'm excited they've got it all done um, got to figure out how we're going to get it over here to the, the farm though um but yeah we're making really really good progress on these fields i'm excited we got done with the weed harvest and I did a check and I believe we've got about 40,000 liters of the oats and right at about 90,000 liters of the wheat. So we've only got two more bins. I don't know. The sorghum, I'm hoping that it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Um, the prices are not really good on anything right now. So fortunately, we've got four bins here that we're going to be able to put four different crops into. But... This one is probably going to be the most challenging because that hill. That hill is not going to be friendly on the harvester at all. I'm going to go ahead and get started here with the headland, but I'm going to go this way because I think it's going to be the most gentle. There's a really steep hill over there on the other side on the back of those trees right there. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have um, Michael go ahead and take care of the rest of the bailing for me. And um, I'm going to make my way around these trees and stuff. I'm going to take the lead on this field and the next one over here because there are a lot of trees and these hills. And and I don't want to... Uh, I mean, if any if anything's going to happen to this harvester right here, I want to be the one to do it. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know. It, it's going to be a challenge. I, I think we're going to need to get something with a little bit more horsepower. Most of the hills out here are pretty flat, but we are running into some that... Uh, we're not too friendly right now. So we're going to get something figured out. Um, I may just have to, to run up and then just harvest it only in one direction. I don't know. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We wrapped up the sorghum harvest with a little bit over 52,000 liters here in the silo. And I went ahead and called the grain mill because I was like, you know what? Maybe they're in the need for some of that. And you know, they are paying over $1,000 for 1,000 liters right now. I cannot pass that price up. We are going to go ahead and deliver everything that we have right now in the silo and that's going to open up a full another silo for me to be able to store all of our crops we still have two more crops to get off of the fields and we only had one more silo and i'm really nervous that the canola is actually going to be more than one silo i think we might get more than 100,000 liters off that um, field right there i don't know yet but it's possible so i wanted to clear out another one just in case and then that would still leave me just only three. So I think I'm going to have to sell another crop off also. Um, I don't know which one it's going to be. It's not going to be wheat. There's a ton of wheat over there. We're going to hang on to that for a little while. Um, maybe oats. It doesn't have a whole lot in that one. So probably it. But I need to get moving and get to the grain mill to get this stuff sold. We got all the sorghum taken to the mill and made $54,000 on that. That is amazing. So that right there is enough to pay off the difference in uh, the equipment. You know, we had a baler and a tractor that we traded in for the new baler. So with just the sorghum harvest right there, we were able to completely pay off the rest of that balance up to the shot, or will be able to pay off it. Um, I am really, really looking forward to see what we can get off these other four fields. I mean, I feel like the sorghum is probably going to be the one that we made the least amount of money on. It was a decent sized field. But it, um, I don't know, maybe the oats. The oats might have been a little bit smaller. But speaking of that oats field, y'all, remember how I said we were going to combine it together with this field? Oh, yeah. 
The next thing I gotta do after we get this harvest out of the ground right here is if the soybeans are not ready to harvest yet, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting down some trees. So I'd, I'd probably try and do it right now, except for the fact that I can't get in there easy. Um, we still have some bales over there that need to be taken care of too. I'm doing the headlands right now. Michael's not really a big fan of headlands, so I'm taking care of those. And then um, he's coming back in and working on the insides. So it gives me an opportunity to get over there and take care of those and uh, get them all picked up is what I meant. So uh, we're going to hang on to them for a little bit. We're not going to need them for the animals, but um, we are uh, definitely going to sell them uh, once the price is right. Yo, we got a problem. I, uh, you know, we, we had this piece of equipment gone through, looked over really good. But as you can see, I mean, there there are quite a few parts here missing on the outside of it. We got a bunch of the shields and things that are just not here. And, you know, and I don't know a whole lot about these older harvesters. So um, I, I trusted somebody to go through and uh, make sure it was in tip top shape. But we, we may run into something. I'm not saying they didn't do a good job. You know what I mean? I just um, I, I don't know. I, I got to get somebody out here. I'm going to have to call call my mechanic get them out here because i mean that toolbox it it's not going to do anything for me you know um i've already gone through here and checked all the belts and everything we just we lost all power just absolutely lost all power i don't even have the lights on right now and y'all we are uh we're coming up on the end of uh end of the uh, the month here and I'm, I'm running out of daylight i am i mean the the lights are on on the tractor here trying to keep it lit i mean i was over there you know, we were uh, picking up a little bit more of the uh, the grain. They came over here, made it pass and a half, and uh, they were done. So we uh, we ran back to the shop, grabbed uh, grabbed the toolbox, trying to see what's going on, and I I just don't know. So I'm gonna give him a call. Hopefully he's gonna be able to make it out here tonight. Because if I don't get this stuff out of here soon, I mean it's it's looking uh it's looking like it's ready to come out of here. Uh, we still got a bunch to do, so. It, it might be a long night. Well, we got it taken care of, and uh, Michael's over there, back at it. I've got to get the uh, the tractor back over here to the shop, and we got to get that grain cart. He is, uh, he's just about full again. So, I think it's going to be definitely, definitely a long night. I mean, as you can see, the sun is already set. We are, uh, we are in overtime now, and we have to get this out of the, uh, out of the field. We don't have an option. So, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hammer here. We got it done, y'all, but we didn't quite get the 100,000 like I was expecting. I think we might have somewhere around about 70,000 liters here on the canola. It's looking like there's a pretty good price at the mill for it. So we might be taking some of this over. I'm extremely exhausted. We've been running ragged here the last little bit, trying to get this harvest done. I'm so glad we did though. Nothing's gonna go to waste and we're gonna be able to focus on the soybean harvest here coming up really, really soon. That's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you wanna stay up to date on everything happening here on No Man's Land, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.